Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup, and today we are reviewing Marvel Legends Vulcan, aka Gabriel Summers. So, that name Summer sounds familiar, it's because this guy here is from a book called uh, Deadly Genesis. And uh, here's a picture of him right there. And there's another friendly guy. And there he is again with the hood on. So if you notice, I have a hood on him. This does not come with Vulcan. I got this from a clearance Marvel Legends Lost in Space Ranger right here. I just took it off him. I just took it. Just like uh, Dave Chappelle said, I just took it. Okay. So, yeah. It looks good on him. Let's get this robe off because in the first appearance, he was wearing a robe, something similar to this, so he can disguise his his face. And his uh, affiliation with the X-Men, I do believe, was a great book. Great, you know, five-issue uh, series. Um, highly recommend getting it. But I think now he's a good guy. But he went through a, he went through a path of destruction because this guy was in space. He was fighting the Shi'ar and the Kree and Gladiator and Black Bolt and, you know, Marion Warbirds and shit like that. Just... <laughs> it still has a cool history. So again, I highly recommend you looking into Vulcan and who he is. I think you would very much so enjoy it. Um, he's kind of an asshole. There's no other way to say it about it. So with that said, this is a new buck. This is the new Bucky Cap buck, or will be. So I'll show you some differences. Here he is next to our old Bucky Cap and his brother. Crazy, right? Well, let's just get all three of them next to each other just so you can see there he is next to cyclops the eldest then comes havoc then comes vulcan so vulcan's a baby brother i believe i'm pretty sure about that but i know cyclops is definitely oldest um i really want cyclops on this buck because this buck's a little bit taller definitely a lot more jacked it would fit much bet much better so that said let's get these guys out the way um, pair on one more buck and that is the spider 99 buck you can see again this buck's a little bit taller which i do thoroughly enjoy um the shoulders look better uh the chest you name it all in all as far as the buck not the character but as far as just the body itself okay it's slim but it is very wide and it it it's really good in hand. Um, I definitely don't mind this being the new Bucky Cap. This, but my only issue with Marvel Legends, and it's been this way for a while, they never commit to using the new bucks. We'll probably get at least in this next year, I'd say we'll probably see this guy 10 more damn times. At least 10 more times. This old buck. I don't know why they don't get rid of the old bucks, just like the um, the Shriek body. We got the Shriek buck, and we still keep getting bad, you know, um, what, hawk eye bucks for the girls. So I really wish they would stop that and move over to the new bodies, okay? Stop using the old stuff that no one likes, but Marvel Legends does not do that, which is why I canceled all but two from this wave. Maybe I'll go back and get some, but I canceled the majority of this wave because I was just, I just got so tired of Marvel Legends um, half-assing things. So, that said, let me get back to the review. I'm sorry for the rant. Um, as far as Vulcan, though, again, I love this buck. It is fantastic. It is pinless, okay? Um, look at that. That is nice. Not ugly like some of the McFarlane um, cuts. Now, he cannot do the splits very well, okay? So, this is probably not a very good Spider-Man buck, okay? You're not going to get much out of it that way. Um, but as far as just the overall 
about uh, ability to move. It's not bad. It's pretty dang good. I think they could have did better with some better cuts. Um, but it's it's good. It's good. I, I, I dig it. He can look up really good. Look at that. Look at that. So, I mean, his flight poses are the shit. Look at that. Give him a nice flight pose. Yeah. Now, he doesn't come with any energy blast or anything like that. That's kind of damn weird to me. I just don't understand why they're, well, they've been cheap. That's what it is. Um, luckily, this guy's cheaper than Hasbro Post. Hasbro Post is $25. I got him from Target for $22.99. So, <sighs> you know, the things you do for love, I guess. I guess that's all you can say. But um, overall, again, I'm going to keep on beating a dead horse. I do like this figure. I think the paint on mine is really good. I had plenty of choices because this guy's going to be a peg warmer, unfortunately. He's going to be a mighty, mighty peg warmer. Uh, and it's sad because it's a really great body. Um, but for some reason, Target keeps on getting in like 10, a, a case. They get a case of this guy. And that's it. Then like a few pieces here and there. I don't understand it. it makes no sense to me. But um, I do like this figure. I do like this buck. If I had to give it out of a score of out of 10, I would give Vulcan, uh, let's see, no weapon, no, sorry, no accessories, no extra heads. Uh, if it wasn't for, if he had more accessories or, or, or then an, an extra head, you, you know, shouting or something like that, or some effects with his eyes, this would be a 10. But because they gave you no accessories, this goes from being a 10 to an 8. Okay? Do better, Marvel. Okay? Do better. But, Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this review, share me, give, give me a subscribe, please, or, or, or a like. Otherwise, give me a dislike. Do something. Help me out. Until next time, peace and chicken grease.